Alrighty, we're now going to be discussing uh, clinometers. Another very handy tool in the uh, forestry sector. Uh, usually they come without the rubber case on them. I like to put the rubber case on to keep it from sliding around your pockets. Uh, most common model is a uh, Sunto. Model code PM-5 slash PC66. Pretty important that you use this specific model for work here in North America because the right side scale reads a topographic scale, the left side scale reads in percent slope. So when you're reading the right side scale, if you're 66 feet away from a target, each percent increment on the clinometer is one vertical foot. On the left side scale, on the percent scale, at 100 feet away from a target, every one increment in the clinometer reading the scale would be one vertical foot. So that's pretty important for taking tree heights. For taking percent slope measurements, you and another technician can sight each other to figure out the percent slope of a, of a hill or a road, but we'll get to that later. So, to convert from percent slope to degrees, so you can use a clinometer in uh, trigonomic formulas, you'd take the percent reading of the left side, and then enter that into a calculator with the and hand function, and that will give you the percent slope. That'll turn it into degrees of an angle. For quick approximations, you can use this table on the back side of your clinometer to figure those out. To use a clinometer, you're gonna hold it to your eye. I like to hold it from my lanyard route, from the lanyard loop, but really. As long as you hold it so you keep this window open, that's all you got to do. Adjust the eyepiece, adjust the focus so it uh, works with your eye well. Hold the clinometer up and then it will create an optical illusion where you will be able to read the scales inside of the clinometer. Moving your head up and down to move to view the to view the scale, to measure heights or percents. Back with the clinometers, we're going to show you how to take percent measurements of slopes. So, with two texts, this can be very easy. So first, me and Ercilio are both going to sight where we look at each other. So naturally, standing straight and my head at a normal position. I'm at, looking at the middle of his hard hat. Priscilla, where are you looking at me? I'm looking at your chin. Alrighty. So, we know that's where we got to aim to both read zero on each other. Zero percent. So, with Priscilla at the uphill position, I'm going to walk downhill. And now to the... Now to find the percent slope of this road, we're both going to sight that mark we just found on each other using the left side scale of our clinometer. All right, Arcilio, I'm reading 19%. Wait, my bad. 14. 14%. You're also reading 14? Yes. All righty. So, that was the percent, 14%. You can come to the table on the back side of your clinometer to convert into degrees of an angle. So, 14, uh, we'll say that's 15%. That's at about 8.5 degrees. If me and Arcilio, if there was a discrepancy in the values we're, we were reading, let's say I was at 13 and he was at 15, we could round and say it was 14, split the difference. So that's how to quickly take percent slope measurements. Okay, so now we're gonna demonstrate how to use a clinometer to measure tree heights. So we're gonna first use the topographic scale. So we'd wanna get 66 feet away from a tree. You can pace out this distance or to be more accurate, you'd actually wanna measure it out with your Spencer's tape. So we're gonna demonstrate that.
tape into the tree with your horseshoe now. Sixty-six feet away, right where we have this flag. Stand right there, take out your clinometer, and now reading the topographic scale. First, you're going to read the bottom of the tree where the trunk meets the ground. So I'm reading at negative five. And you're going to go up. We're going to measure total height. So I'm going to cite the top of the tree, the very tip, and that's 90. So I'm going to add those two measurements together. So we're going to add the difference. So 90 plus negative five, we're going to end up with 95 feet for the tree. Now, it is a good practice to always be at least the distance away from a tree, to be at least the height of the tree away for the measurement. So a 95 foot tree, we're at 66 feet away. That's not the most accurate. For a tree this tall, we'd want to be 100 feet away. So we already have a flag marked out at 100 feet. Pull my tape out of the tree. And now at 100 feet, we want to read the percent scale, the left side scale. So again, right at 100 feet away, We cite the bottom where the trunk touches the ground. I'm reading negative three. Go take that measurement one more time. Yep, negative four. Go all the way up. And I'm reading 93. So again, figure out the difference, negative four to 93, we have a 97 foot tree. As you can see, we increased our accuracy a little bit. Another important thing to keep in mind is, is that you also wanna try and stay on the same plane as the tree. You know, you don't wanna be going downhill measuring it or going uphill, you wanna try and stay on the same slope.